this week on Rockstar Superhero. Let me just say that the fourth time is the charm. Jimmy Bowman and I spent the last few months working feverishly to coordinate our schedules, and it took a lot of tries, but here we are, and I'm glad it worked out because Jimmy is a great musician and an absolutely wonderful guest. Jimmy's band, Outshine, hails from Sweden, and his music reflects the culture and sound of a very dark, brooding winter better than most. Curiously, Jimmy's music belies the culture and even its own sound at times as his message is one of overcoming. There's a hidden hope that our world can find its way back to what made it lovely. The new Outshine album, The Awakening, comes out May 13th. That's tomorrow as I'm recording this. So I urge our listeners to pick it up and revel in its dissonant glory. Here's my conversation with the great guy, the inimitable Jimmy Bowman of Outshine. And this, my friends, is Rockstar Superhero. I sit all alone in my darkness With my fallen beliefs If you could swallow your pride and confess Jimmy Bowman, man, welcome to this. It's uh, It's been a, a bit of a challenge getting in touch with each other, but I'm, I'm stoked yeah. that after the fourth attempt, we finally are sitting here uh, in front of each yeah. other. I'm really sorry about that. It's no. the, it's the life, you know, you know, single dad with a small son, and uh, you know, day work, you know, the the music stuff ain't you don't quit your day job, as we say in in the in the, in the, in the business. So it's you know, working and renovating a house and, and yeah, taking care of stuff. So yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Like three times, uh, yeah, it's some pretty unbelievable. So it's very very nice to have me. I'm, I'm grateful for that, Rob. <laughs> well, I, look, I'm, I'm grateful you're here, Jimmy. Uh, you know, uh, you're you're a bit of a legend in the business. I I, I know it's always embarrassing oh, to hear those terms, yeah. but you know, uh, I I obviously, you know, going through that uh, process with you and building that up, and it was so funny. Um, after uh, we had that third cancellation, and um, I was talking with with my wife, and she says, "Well, whatever you do, you have to talk to him." So just <laughs> reschedule, and I was like. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't want to. I was just my schedule was so bonkers. I was I, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. what to do, and and so I'm telling everybody this That's because good. Jimmy's been extraordinarily kind, and um and it's nice to know I that just, we have loved ones that force the issue too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, nice, and it's kind of a it's kind of a touch of how, how it is, you know, when uh, it's a bit yeah, what the album is about a little bit, how the world is, you know, we're. Yeah the dumbest kind of hardworking uh, common people working their asses of just to get the normal straight up life, you know, and, and yeah. everything happening. It ain't the common people that uh, is getting away with the stuff. You know, we, we pay for it. We, we go through the miseries and everything, you know, and the elites and everybody else, you know, just laughing at us. So yeah. it's, this is kind of a thing you, you need to just, it's so many things just to keep everything together, you know, to be, Abel, and this is kind of shows that yeah, it's pretty crazy when you work your nine, ten hours, then you have your kid and all other stuff, and then don't want to give up the you know the, the 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 music in the way of creating that and uh, writing the album, you know, and and uh, it's been so important to do that because it mm -hmm. to me it means so much. Yeah. This is my kind of uh, take of it, what I see and so on, and I noticed that. It's a really, really nice feeling how how people embrace it. Yeah, I'm really yeah. happy that I pushed through and really made this happen. You know, okay, we're not a, we're not a big band or anything, but we've been around a bit or so on. But we really, I really want to do stuff, you know, in, in the correct way. So, so, so that's yeah. the sorry. No, it's okay. It happens. This is the nature of the online world we live in, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, so it's. So it feels really good to be here now, you know, good. the day before the release, uh, four years of pure insanity, I would say it's yeah, the world, uh, in my private life, um, with the band, with everything, you know, so it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I talked with the bass player, it's me and him that's been around, you know, yeah, in the yeah. band. And we just said like, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. We're going to do a release show tomorrow. Yeah. After these four, we sat down like back in early 2018 after the, 
uh, we did a tour with Paradise Lost uh, in, in in the UK and so on, and and uh, we we kind of said like that this constellation it's it's just it's not fun, you know, it's just a, a pain mm. in in a bad way. So and to sit down there, we thought, okay, either it's over or I need to just do it, you know, myself in the way I want to do it, and and really put that kind of heart and soul in it. So. Mm. And here we are four years yeah. later that's pretty yeah. cool <laughs> well four years later and for you because you founded the band 27 years later i mean you've been doing this a long time man. Uh, it's just it's just insane it's it's it pretty is. insane it of is. course it's been the first couple of years it were more, more or less like not that serious you know more sure. kind of studio studio product kind of thing but then uh, at least for 10 15 years we've done seven years tours so uh, we've done european tour we've done a lot of things but yeah it's just back to this kind of why why do you create music what mm -hmm. is for is it just to entertain i don't have a problem with people doing that that's great you know because music is so important for for people nevertheless what kind of music it's if it, it's effect, affects people so <laughs> but to me this kind of to really put down uh, kind of the from the heart and soul and kind of a message and kind of a get people to start thinking a little bit and and and, and uh, kind of wrap it up in an, in a in an Kind of a costume that's more what i always wanted to do uh mm -hmm. that feels really good so mm. and uh you know yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty yeah it's it's pretty amazing you know and now actually today first time i uh, can reveal that uh, we're going for a for eighth us tour in wow July. awesome oh so that's good yes feels really good so going back to the to the good old the hoods over there <laughs> where we've been Good. quite some time so it's Good. not gonna be a big tour or anything it's a two-week thing but just to be able to do that and 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 the feedback we're getting now to doing that it's just it's really warms your heart you know after all these years and kind of change also in the in the in band line line up and a little bit of the style and so on but really get the kind of the the feedback is more or less like jimmy you 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 found the thing now you found yeah. the vibe it's so so nice so that feels really good. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah. I think, I mean, when, when we get down to it, Jimmy, there's a, there's so many, there's so many variables that make you and outshine what it is today. Right. I mean, so you put the band together in 95 and you develop it and you start, <laughs> right. You start building, you start writing, you start doing all the things, but on, you know, in turn, you're also going through a lot of changes in life. And like you, you talk about having children and then you talk about like, the social issues that happen in Scandinavia and something that has always blown me away is, is every artist I talk to from, you know, the general area of where you live, yep. there's, there's so much concern about uh, propaganda and elitism and fascism and, and money and the influence of that wealthy elite over the people. And I'm wondering that did that culture affect you as an early musician were you putting the band together to protest what you were seeing around you or were you just writing dark moody pieces because you were drawn to the sounds of you know bands like typo negative uh, now in the being I, I haven't been that you know into the kind of the so to say the society kind of political kind of thing gotcha up until i would say I went through a really, really bad thing with uh, with Swedish authorities, with the tax authorities. Um, right. wow. Really horrible thing, and that kind of woke me up. That was like it's seven or eight years ago or something. Before that, I was kind of a little bit, kind of clueless, to be honest. Mm -hmm. More or less doing the music due due to yeah, I'm a big fan of course of Type of Negative and uh, like the older like yeah, you know Sisters Mercy and all these kind of dark kind of styles yeah, but yeah. also big fan of Alice in Chains and, and all that kind of grungy but they have a darkness with it you know life of agony <laughs> right all that stuff it's right dissonant cool, music in a way yeah. yeah yeah exactly exactly so that has been my kind of yeah the heart and soul always but not really having a band and so on and really kind of putting out in, in a position to you know release albums go out playing and do all this stuff but this kind of the thinking of you know the whole the the the, the complete thing you need to me that was kind of it's been uh, 
you know, uh, thoughtful and, and, and so on, but not in, in that level mm -hmm. previously. Mm -hmm. So something really changed. And the thing I went through was quite horrifying to see uh, really the system, how, how um, when you get too, too big of a government, uh, you get too much uh, power within the government and they mm -hmm. take away their, their responsibilities. We, mm -hmm. we, we wrote out, out of the laws that that uh, people working for the tax authority, for instance, they, they can just uh, more or less make up things and and and, and push uh, businesses or, or private persons. Uh, you know, for in my case, they just stated more or less that, yeah, okay, we uh, look through your papers here and uh, we see that it's missing 1 million Swedish sex. So it's like 100,000 US. Yeah. And I'm like, where? where? Where in the books? I have, you know, uh, accountant and all this stuff for my, for my my company. And the weird thing is that they can do that. You need to prove yourself, uh, you know, prove your kind of uh, that you're not guilty with this. And that's, mm -hmm. it's impossible if, if there is nothing wrong, if you understand my point, then you need to pay this 100,000 US, and then you can sue this, this, this Swedish tax authorities. And so that's the system in Sweden. Wow. And that was a wake up call. Because then I started to look into it and so on, and so many people have taken their lives, lost everything, the homes, their families, everything due to this stuff. So that was that was extremely tough. And I, I was really fortunate to find a really good lawyer. And I I had a really good contact <coughs> with my bank. And I actually went to the bank just to see this kind of meeting going there. Me like a rock and roll guy, they know I'm an engineer on the side, yeah. so I work for, for Volvo. So so they know I'm a, I'm a good guy and work, and they see that, you know. And I say, hey, guys, I, I need to have a meeting with you guys. Okay, yeah. so everything's good, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, just one small thing. I need to borrow uh, 80,000 US for uh, a tax a tax payment. My God. <laughs> and they like, say yeah. say again? Yeah, yeah. So I explained, and I said, like, this is horrible. And I do understand if you guys don't want to back me up, because this is, you know, to lend money to pay, you know, a, a, a tax debt, more or less, to then sue the tax authorities, which bank would do that? But actually, they did. Wow! They supported me. Wow! That's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's absolutely. They said like Jimmy, you're the greatest guy. You always, you know, everything's work. This is just too insane. Something's wrong here. Mm -hmm. So we we will support you. You have to, of course, we put up like a pay payment, uh, really aggressive. I mm -hmm. said that's no worries because this is wrong, <laughs> and we need, just need to get over the mm -hmm. the hurdle, so to say, which we did. And you know what happened? Two weeks went. Then all of a sudden, we got a paper, uh, we got a, a, a document from the tax authority saying, like, "Yeah, some new information has come in." So, and we see that uh, Stephen <laughs> Bowman has not done anything wrong. Oh my Why god! Some that? new information. Yeah, we, no, we're, <laughs> we're suing you. Because <laughs> they know if if oh I would gosh. go to court. Yeah, and soon then, then you have this. Uh, I don't know. We call it pre 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 we call it in English. It's like kind of a, a case that uh, other ones can. Oh, refer prejudice. To. Yeah, yeah. Yes, prejudice. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why they pulled back right away and just gave me the money back. So that was happened. So yeah. that woke me up a bit and started to look. Thing. Okay, how is this society and these high taxes and everything? Is it really for the common people? Or is it actually for the ones that already own fucking everything? Yeah. And yeah. what you know, then you start seeing the things. Okay, why do we have the one of the lowest uh, taxes on, on on deductions without out from the bigger companies? Why is it so easy to have a, another company, another low tax um, you know, country, and then just move the money? All this kind of thing. And but you have really high taxes on ordinary work, so to say. Mm -hmm. You know, even the mm -hmm. The ones in Sweden, I think in the US, you have really low taxes on the ones that don't earn that much. You even have zero, I think, in some states mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. this income. You have kind of a step, right? Yeah, it just yeah. it depends on the state. Like my state doesn't have yeah. state taxes, but but the fees of living here, the property taxes, and then the taxes mm -hmm. on gasoline or food products is very high. So there's always uh -huh. there's always yeah, somebody making up for it somewhere. Exactly, get to, to get the, that money down to the yeah, pockets. Yeah, it's just a now, different that, trick. It's just, it's just it's just really sad. Why do you tax people that have like ten bucks an hour? What's that? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the ones that is, 
like don't even need to have a salary that you know earn all their money on 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 the stock market whatever they don't pay mm -hmm. any taxes so mm -hmm. to me that's all things like something's wrong here yeah so that's kind of the the kick of me being more yeah more interested in that kind of stuff and then uh, corona came <coughs> and then you can just you can just read upon hmm it's very strange that during corona the the 50 or the, the like the 50 most wealthiest persons in in, in in the world has gained 70 percent during corona mm -hmm. that hasn't happened to me mm -hmm. <laughs> i can trust you mm -hmm. I, will, I was yeah. fired in two hours from the company i worked for they fired six thousand people uh, from volvo two hours, two hours notice yes volvo trucks oh man yeah so wow and did you get thing. hired back when corona got better yeah, yeah yeah i had to scroll back you know that that's the that's the thing Right. Oh, sorry. Right. That's all right. I'll just uh, blame yeah. you. I'll blame you for everything, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, too. no. Well, so, I'll so, no. I, I, one, one second. I asked text her. I mean, an interview. This is the. Yeah, it's the. <laughs> it's the. It's the ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well we'll let everybody yeah. listen in how's that <laughs> yeah everyone listen in this is my ex-wife everybody hey She's, all right uh, perfect to, uh, here and <laughs> super yeah. entertaining is there hope there's blood involved <laughs> uh, oh my gosh are you are you cool now can are you ready to jump back hey, in no worries no worries <laughs> Oh, you just tell me when you're ready, buddy, and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Okay. He's got I'm the good. thumbs up. Ah, so, now, you, you know, now you have to, you know, you you will you experience my life as yeah, it is. Yeah. You know. Now like I know how crazy <laughs> it is. So we're good. Well, okay. So we got to yeah, talk so. about this new record because the awakening yeah, it. It, it comes out tomorrow. It comes yes. out tomorrow. And when we were okay. we when we originally set our, our first interview date. It was months ago, months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it's just this, just the nature of it. We're catching up. We're playing catch up. But you know what I wanted to talk about is how you can tell you've let the the blood and the sinew and the DNA of these bands that you love. You talk about, you know, like Alice and Typo Negative or Bauhaus or or whatever, wherever yeah, these yeah. things come from. I'm a huge Peter Murphy fan. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I love peter murphy's voice his and mid-year i think are the two best voices in modern music i love their voices and Ooh. and when i heard the awakening i was like oh my gosh like this really? guy oh Oof. yeah oh That's man jimmy pretty heavy man <laughs> yeah no jimmy your voice is really special and there's there's experience there there's the life thing there there's that evolution of the life journey and even though this is cheesy to say, I have to say it. Your <laughs> singing voice has gravitas. You know what I mean? The depth. Yeah. It has it has oh. it has weight. And so where I'm curious is is what were you influenced by vocally and where did where did this desire to pursue the darker vibes come from? Was it a childhood experience or something? <sighs> to be honest, the, the darkness, I don't know. It's uh I would say yes if you go to the like from the musical musical perspective. Mm -hmm. I remember I was at at we had a festival in Sweden called Hultsfred back in the days. It was mm -hmm. quite a big one, and it's mm -hmm. all the big bands. You know, I I, I saw like you know Pantera, Rage Against the Machine, and all this stuff. You know, but I saw Type of Negative back in 1994, 93, 94. So mm -hmm. quite way back mm -hmm. and i remember the, yes that it's so like crisp in my mind that that whole kind of you know the whole style the whole thing the whole vibe that that was something that really touched me in, in the way so because they you know with type and yeah they're they're dark and they're heavy and i think but they're really melancholy and very very thoughtful as well mm -hmm. and, you know the, the peter's the lyrics and everything it's it's such a nice touch to everything and he's using this dark humor as well it's it's mm -hmm. great you know mm -hmm. on how he kind of also pushing for some things you know that like people you know i i i love it so that's kind of touched me in a way and then the guys then that back then when we started up the band and, and so on they were the, that guy that was kind of the 
keyboard guy or the kind of the, that kind of part he he was really into the patch mode and, and mm. all the, that, that kind of style so our kind of blend here that was perfect mm. so and i'm a huge fan of the De patch as well now so me too me too so we're doing uh, like an out out shinified version of of the patch mode songs live just to kind of yeah you know yeah just to celebrate those guys and then uh, yeah it's just that kind of blend, that kind of darkness, and so on, and the darker stuff, of course, that the Pesh is doing is, is my favorite, of course. But that kind of mix on that, that kind of found my kind of style. Yeah. But the vocals, to be totally honest, I back in 2018, I, I just you know I either we put down the band or or, or I on make an honest attempt to really do this in, in the way I want to do it. So mm -hmm. when I started up and so on. I really didn't didn't have a clue on the range or anything of this. So I went to this vocal coach and so on, and I I was terrified, you know. Wow, wow. Uh, you know, it's like shit. What I'm doing, you know. So, but she was so great. She, oh. she was in Gothenburg. She said, like Jimmy, relax. You know, I have I have artists here. They've been around for thirty years. You know them one hundred percent. I can't tell because you, it's you know yeah mm -hmm. but, privacy. No, but they're thing. still here. Mm -hmm. They're still terrified and all this stuff, but they released like fucking fifteen albums. So don't worry, we just need to find your range wh where you're, where you should position yourself in, in feeling confidence and and feeling, yeah, you know, so you can balance that in a nice way. So what happened is that all all out music, everything, I, I rewrote everything, wow. and I changed the 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 so to say the ch the tone and so on, like key, and key signatures yeah, basically yeah, built, yeah, built, yeah, built yeah. around your Change, range. Totally. Yeah, yeah, totally wow. changed it and everything. And all of a sudden, after a couple of months and so on, it just started to fit together in a nice way. You know, mm. that was just a struggle, but a lot of rehearsal and a lot of kind of working around and so on. But I kind of really rewrote everything. And when it started to fit, then it just, yeah, kind of materialized. Mm. So mm. it's really no, I just, I would say, I kind of left this whole kind of, I was, you know, a bit of a, I thought that, yeah, I really, really need to have some harder kind of screaming kind of things and stuff like that. I just like, no, we just forget, forget about everything. I'll do what is kind of works for me. Right. And then we see what, what, where we take it, you know? So that was kind of the, the balance in it. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Usually I found as I talked to so many artists over the last six years that almost to a fault, every artist that is into what I call darker material, right? Whether it's darker themes or darker sounds, the tones of the record, they mm -hmm. actually usually come from very happy, confident, well-raised human adults right like like <laughs> there's something about like like metal musicians and i, I don't want to classify you necessarily no, that, no, no, but no. But, I, but it but 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 they tend to be just the nicest people and it's usually the guys that are doing the pop are the are the ones who are struggling it's always doing the opposite to sort of make balance if that makes sense yeah, no, you, no. Yeah. You know, how, so are you a happy guy? I mean, do you, uh, were you raised in a, a fun household or was there a lot of, you know, struggle in your life? No, it, it hasn't been that great, to be honest. Uh, my dad died when I was seven years old. So oh, that's a huge thing. That kind of, yeah, that's kind of that whole kind of stepdad uh, crap. And my mom moving, like, I think I helped to move like 15 times during mm. the, the whole I'm sorry kind of, yeah but i i can't really complain about that I, i'm happy i i'm a happy guy you know with all that stuff but i would i would say the big thing would be the the self-confidence that has uh, kind of kind of had a, had an issue with that because i throughout the years when you reflect a bit you did some choices you know over the years due to a bad self-esteem mm -hmm. so i was pretty good in in uh, playing um, uh, soccer or football we say football soccer it was pretty really good when i was young yeah, and that kind of thing that kind of was a breaks where, where kind of self esteem kind of killed that whole thing. And then you went on with this a little bit, and even in our China, I would say, uh, having having guys in the band that really, if you look away, just take a little bit step back, is that this really good mix? Is this kind of the no, it's not, it's just you, you make choices with the, the wrong kind of parameters, so to say, sure. 
you understand sure. my point? So the self-esteem yeah, yeah. thing here is like, okay, I can't do this myself because I'm I, I don't have that in me. I need to have somebody. I, I try and just put something together, and it doesn't work. It doesn't get. You don't get this really nice mix and blend what you need when you when you listen to something that's really touching you. It's because you have some kind of balance in that mm -hmm. kind of creation, that, that creation of the music or the guys writing songs or the band. It can be a solo artist, can be whatever, but it just fits together. You know, yeah. you understand yeah. my point. It's like everything is so, everything is put in place in a nice way. Every, everything, the vocals, the the kind of the, the structure of the songs, what kind of uh, style and everything, everything fits in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. kind of has always been kind of a bit of an issue. And due to the self esteem thing, so that's, of course, is uh, that bringing 100%. Yeah. This is something yeah. that's, in the later years, uh, really has got to me to very much, uh, much better place, and that's where we are, where we are now. It's it's just, I'm, I'm a, it's an amazing feeling that you can actually push through and actually do these things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, I mean, know, we're made to push through. We just uh, <laughs> most, I think, human nature obviously wants to give up most of the time because <laughs> giving up is easier. Yes, um, much easier. <laughs> but 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 I, I I think I mean so I think when we're created right in you know in our in our mother right in our mother's womb, that yeah. DNA and that soul that we get that you know because right we're soulful people and that soul we receive is imbued with a skill set that's like kind of one of maybe twenty types of people right because because artists. Right. I'm a drummer. So I understand a guy like you. I even if I don't necessarily know how you grew up or, you know, or the things you felt losing your father at such a young age. I think, you know, there's we're a type. We're the same type of person, if you will. And yeah. and so artists were. I mean, we only make sense to other artists, if that makes sense. Right. And so and yeah. so. I think there's this beautiful thing that happens when we're open and you're open because you're sharing this today is when we find other people who were attracted to musically that that their their different personalities sort of complete us they kind of fill all those holes in us and I think that's why we're so drawn to being in bands because people need people. We need to be supported. And in turn, we love to support others. It it makes us mm. feel better about ourselves, you mm. know? Oh, that's um, a really good point, yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, I just, I think the thing, I think the reason your music works so well and, and, and why I like this new album so much is because it feels like a, a fully cohesive, you know, work, it's, it's been honed and, and it probably couldn't have existed 20 years ago, you know, excuse me, 20 oh. years ago, because Jimmy was different. Obviously yes. the, the band yes, was yes. different, you know, yeah. definitely. What, what do you think? No, 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 you're, you're spot on. And I, it's yeah, this is just interesting. And I was just say, this is, this is, this is why I like, I have, you know, I have so many friends and, and played with so many good bands and so on in the US and, 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 and uh, I've been in Toronto once as well. But nevertheless, this kind of vibe that we're talking about, it's, mm -hmm. I don't know if just yes, because we're Swedish guys coming over or whatever, but I, I get <laughs> such a nice, this kind of, you know, feeling. It's very clear in the US. Mm -hmm. We kind of lost it this a little bit in, in, in Sweden, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's been mm -hmm. kind of a, it's a tough music scene and it's a lot of, uh, of course, clubs and everything that's gone out of business. And uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a more harsh kind of feeling to it nowadays. Right. But this thing, what you sp speak about, that was also really present 15 years ago in Sweden. This kind of yeah. really nice vibe, this kind of really warmth or, or something, you know, that you, you, you connect, connect with people, you have some, you know. So, so uh, I agree one hundred percent, and it, mm. it, it, it's it's a really great feeling. And and uh, I would say, me and Nick, uh, the bass player, we are that kind of you know connection and that kind of like silent support or like a support in the ways of we're there. It's, it's yeah, it's just a, a bond that's mm. really, really, really nice, and and yeah. that's, you get the. Uh, 
Yeah, it's even yeah, it's hard to put words on it, but it's just something that just blends together in such a nice way. Uh, yeah. I think we're made for very few people. And I and you know, I've noticed that in my own life, in my own career, the choices I've made, because I, I left the music business behind back in two thousand three and I've only done one session since. So I really haven't played much and I will tell you, as much as I love being on stage and performing for others, I don't miss all the crap that goes with the business or the or the or that or that the frustrations of you know the the way clubs expect you to be or or the way you should be on tour and the costs of everything we have to front everything. It's always on the artist, and then on top of that our audiences are expecting us to give them stuff for free that right. They get free music and, and free, you know, and, and Hey, I'm your buddy. So can I get a free shirt and all these things? And, and, and I, and I get it to a point and I'm not really complaining, but I think, I think musicians and you're probably noticing this with your band is that there's like one or two of us that get each other and everybody else tells us what we want to hear. And we got to kind of, push those off to the side and just work with the couple of unique, amazing people that uh, want to help us expand our vision. You know what I mean? Oh, I recognize that really well. And uh, that's uh, uh, it's, it's a, such a strange thing, you know, because everybody, it would be a nice experiment. Just take all music away from the world in, for one week. Yeah. See what happens. Off a lot of quiet you know, cars. <laughs> you're supposed to be. It should it should be free, and you everything you, you do that because it's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, I earn shit lot of money here. Everybody's drinking like crazy or whatever. But you guys, you do it because it's fun, so we don't have to pay you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's just it's just a weird thing because I think culture, for that matter, it, it that's that's art, that's that's theater, that's everything. Mm -hmm. This is extremely important and that's kind of one, one of the building stones for, for democracy you know mm -hmm. that, that the culture part is so important to get people to get this whole kind of a, a, a community everything to work in a nice way the culture thing is very important I, and mm -hmm. i think you i think people when with the pandemic and all that crap that shows a bit how important that this is to right. meet other people the culture part is one you cannot take that away. People will go insane, they, and they will f they, they get depressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to me, uh, I really hope that we that's that's one of the things with the awakening, so to say, it's that we need to start really questioning, start kind of letting the old truths, so say behind a bit and start connecting with the, you know, we need to do that because the world is going in a direction that I don't like at all. Yeah. And, yeah. And you know, I've been, I've been working in, uh, I have a lot of good friends in China. Uh, they're, they're great people and so on. But when you see the system, you've been, I've been working there for three years almost mm -hmm. um, back and forth. So that's not the society we would like to have throughout the world. Mm -mm. Uh, why it's so important with freedom of speech and, and a democracy and all these things that that's why we have a you know it's so important i think for people to to really this is something that we should expand more to get everybody to have this kind of ways so we can re truly see people's uh, you know um potentials i would say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to have that kind of mindset over people and not not to you know yeah it, it's it's uh, yeah um, I, I really hope uh, that that that, um, that it's if you read upon uh, things you know over the over the years like longer times you, you, we we go like this you know with the renaissance and all this kind of stuff you go up and, and down and I think that's maybe hopefully this is the case we need to kind of have a really a bad run to make sure that we start to to understand what is what does society need and us as humans is, is it is it just about uh, wealth and and about uh, the material things or, or, is, or the other things that we really need to make sure that that we we as a human race really f put some back to some uh, focus and so on so right right well you know i mean i grew up so so this is what i i always, I always say this every time so i want to make sure it's, it's clear Shoot. i grew Shoot. up in the i grew up in the church so oh, okay 
So, and I'm not a religious person at all, but I'm, but I'm a man of faith, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, I understand. I'm the, and, I'm the same. Yeah. And I never impress that upon anybody else. But the thing that I've found is the world, uh, and I don't want to get even, like I said, remotely religious, but it seems no, to no, me no, that you shoot, man. I, the, I world am, is, the world I'm is super. on the cusp. The world is on the cusp of, of a radical spiritual upheaval. There's something going on. That is in between worlds, I believe. I, you know, and again, I don't oh, want to no, impress. Cool. No, and, I actually heard this from uh, from some other friends. That that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah. and I understand why people would say, "Oh, you're crazy," and and that's fine. Maybe I am. Um, no, but I don't it, think so. <laughs> Not yeah, if you but, see how how we run society, otherwise, it's, absolutely, that's what's insane, my friend. <laughs> absolutely, and so I look at the world and I say, the one thing that's clear across all borders. All faiths, all religions, all cultures, um, poor, rich, we are all seeking the same thing. We're seeking somebody to lead us. Even the richest of the rich are looking mm. for somebody above them that they can be taught from, they can catch up to, right? And the little guy who's being crushed by the either the wealthy or the government or something, he's still looking for somebody who's above him, who can lead him out of that bondage. And, and the problem is, is there's a couple of people who are flamboyant and uh, well-spoken and kind of in the right place at the right time with enough financial backing and enough of a of a sort of a cult following that all it's going to take is a couple more bits of sort of worldwide fear, worldwide failure, like another pandemic mm -hmm. or another uh, a significant war. And, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be surprised if somebody pops up and says, you know, I'm your guy. I'm going to lead you out of this hole. And the world turns in that direction and follows that. And, and, you know, from a biblical point of view, that's, I mean, that's like, a scripture thing, you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. and, and I admit that that colors my perception, but regardless if it's actually like, you know, quote unquote, the antichrist or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. The fact is, is people, we need love, man. I mean, you're, <laughs> Dude, you're, you're a Dude, songwriter. We need no, love. No, my friend, we need love. You make so much sense. You know, this is, this is really interesting that you say, because, my, if you've seen the video for It's All Lies, I don't know if you've seen that. I yeah. have. I, have. I am. Do you understand? My, what I'm trying to show is that, yeah, this fancy guy, he's saying stuff. Yeah, and everything is true because he, he, he makes sense and everything is great. Yeah, yeah. just follow me. And that's the whole thing. Like, come on. False See prophet what, everywhere, what's brother. Happening. What, what is actually happening right now? We have the, the war just on the side here with Ukraine and everything. What's, what is this about? You know, if you just step back a little bit and just watch a little bit, what is really, you know, this is about. And again, this is, it's really, we need love. We need, you know, unit, we need to unify with all these things. I am a 100% with you, man, 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I really hope, and I have some friends that's into a little bit what you're saying. Um, and I have a hard time to see it because I'm, I see so much crap. You know, I just I feel so bad about. It's just and it's kind of they are pushing the boundaries. It's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it has to stop or change. Something needs to happen. Yeah. And maybe this is the thing that you, that that that. Uh, now we yeah now we get into deep stuff. <laughs> well, that's that's the no, point. No, no, no. That, this yes, show isn't yeah. about music, brother. No, 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 this show is talking to you. Something you know, you know that that uh, how how the last the last couple of years during the, the, the pandemic wise and what has happened the year after and how all the different societies have how they have pushed things on people and so easily people giving away the rights giving away everything and so on yep. and then when you have like Fear. you know people working in the hospital they're working like 20 hours a day they, you know to help everybody and so on and then they get their, they kick them out from the job because they don't take the jab or whatever reason i, I don't I, I don't put any judgment in anything but just the ways on how you push people in that way and how they use 
pieces of science and so on to put together kind of a thing. Now this is what we should do. This is not and blah, blah, blah. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's horrifying just to see the thing, then what's right or wrong. That that's, that's a different thing. It's mm -hmm. just the, the ways and how media and everything is pushing it and kind of, you know, it's, that is not the way of love. So to say it's right. Not, that, that, that is a, to me, that's hatred. That's yeah. to me, that's a modern, modern way of, what Mussolini and the fucking assholes did back in days. This is to me, th to be honest now, now I'm really frank here. Yeah, yeah, please. This is exactly what I see. When you start pushing people in this way and you force people and and you and with fear that you push in, and, uh, the, the push in and the taking the jab or whatever, is that the big issue or not? You can read upon, no, it's for the, the, the most of people, it's not any, no problem at all, but mm -hmm. we have some issues. And, mm -hmm. and Pfizer and also they said that, yes, 2023, then we're finished with this one. This is on a, on a test, so everybody knows that. And the government just said, no, no, just bring it on. So that was clear from the beginning, you know, if to be honest with just uh, how you do, how you develop the vaccines, if you just take this one. But nevertheless, it's just the ways on how you treat people and how easily you use the fear and so on. And mm -hmm. they, this is, to me, is really horrible. And it's kind of this divide and conquer kind of strategy you need to have some kind of question and making sure you cannot be be like on top. You need to be either that way or that way. Right. So you can divide people. And then you take the next question and you divide and you divide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To me, yeah, I, this yeah. is not, yeah, this is horrifying. This is one, this is one big thing with, with the album. Uh, yeah. And, and to me, I really hope, and that's, it's really nice that maybe it's a spirit, even though I didn't really think about it, maybe that's because the last song, it's about, it's called we know who you are yeah and that's about pointing out the bad the, the antichrist that's what it is yeah well i i, I yeah. figured that's, that's the sister thing <laughs> it's, yes, it is it it that's totally my... it totally seemed like that on the i mean when i was listening great, to it, man. yeah well, I, but 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 i am also <laughs> come, but i'm a weirdo and i come through i come Good. i come yes. from that background so it makes sense that i would be seeing it through my own personal spiritual perspective not necessarily saying it was yours but but i'm gonna read it a bit like that you know and i that's really I, true. I, again i don't want to make this about me but i i I, oh. I think about the fact that i'm a father and i'm a grandfather and then i see you as a father uh, especially yeah. as a new father and i think do you i mean you you're not going to regret having your child because your child is no. lovely and part of you and 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 is meant to be your child is supposed to be here so your child can carry on past you right your your child is your legacy mm. but but i would be the first person to tell you that i i don't live in fear but i admit to fear of raising my children in this world that I do feel has been kind of taken away from us, if that makes sense. We don't have the world you and I grew up in. And you don't know. Yeah. And that's a scary and sad place to be because I don't want my children to live in fear. I don't want my children to be subjugated. I don't want my children to have to pick between loved ones, which side of the fence they're on because nobody will come to the middle. It's, it's awful. Dude, you're, 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 you're right down my alley. I can't ask one thing. Now we moved out from, from Gothenburg. Wow. Okay. Due to this out in the countryside, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working out together with other um, dads and moms and so on to start our own school down here. Uh, mm. Wow! Because there's some issues with with schools and so on. It's not so not so crowded and so on. So it's a different thing. But this is exactly these things. I really need to make sure that my my son has a place and uh, and a way where where. We don't have this, sh sh you know, this crap. He, he and he needs to be prepared for this. But this, this scares the hell out of me. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just this crazy thing. Just like it's so many things right now that I just feel like that's just it, it, it's you know uh, critical race theory thing. You mm -hmm. know, it's coming to be, it's coming a little bit over here as well. Yes, yeah, so just when when you read that, you read the whole like it's just. But wait a minute. How come we're starting? Well, why are we discussing race? Well, what has that 
do with anything. We are a human race. We need to make sure that we, you know, in other aspects to, to really get people out of poverty and all these kinds of things. And this, I, I would say when you mentioned that the, the, the guy looking up at the other ones and so on, mm-hmm. I think that's a very big thing that we need to have, so to say, uh, what do you call it? It's you know, heroes or, or having like- a cham- I call it a champion. Yeah, we champion. Need, yeah, we need champion. a champion. Yeah, perfect, perfect, yeah. So that you can, you're here, but somebody that can tell you that you are a great person, you can really man do things. You know, you have so many good things, and looking at this person, helping them, taking steps, seeing the good, seeing the good in all people, mm-hmm. not looking at people that they are victims or th- this is this. You have all these bad things. You know, we need to. We're trying to be stuff. right. Exactly. Everybody's you trying to be, be right. It sucks, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely up to one hundred percent, and this is exactly my feeling personally. Uh, what I see in society and everything it comes down to this. We need. We are not, and I have a good because I, I, I've started to. Um, I've involved myself in the politics a bit here locally, mm. and one thing, uh, quite inst- interesting thing, we can, we can take real quick here. It's called the uh, um, Angered, the Angered model. So mm. that's one uh, like uh, area outside Gotham where that's really heavily, like that's really a no go kind of. So it's really quite bad. Has been bad for many many years, mm-hmm. but it's starting to turn a bit. And what happened was that they took in like the that area kind of have a, like a city council kind of thing, roughly. And then we had some you know person they took in a, a, a girl uh, from the private sector from like um, SQF, they're doing uh, uh, barons and, and stuff like that. So, but nevertheless, she went there and that's an area where they have a lot of people from uh, like uh, Middle East and so on coming to mm-hmm. Sweden. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Swedish is non-existent. They uh, usually even don't know, they can't even read or write in their own language and so on. So you kind of have a really long way to get into the society more or less, you know. Mm-hmm. And she, and this is a, this is a true story, and that's something now that that is um, has got going a bit, which is super interesting. What she did, she went in, and then they this uh, uh, one of the worst that's really like ha- needs a lot of help to get going is the Somali, the Somali mm-hmm. women, mm-hmm. because they mm-hmm. have the of course the structure within the religion and everything, and the structure that they will be home with the kids and all this stuff, you know. So, so it's just kind of and. And she was so terrified when when they when these people came to the kind of council when they have to have uh, this uh, welfare and so on and then that kind of you know interviews mm-hmm. and so she sat down and, and she had these persons working with it and they said like, okay what's the issues with you that's how they started mm-hmm. so they started to put point down okay yeah you can't read you can't do this you can't do this you can't do this you can't do this. and she said like, what the hell are you doing you're taking away the small self esteem this person has you're taking that away now. Yeah, you, you fucking assholes. Yeah, you can say that, but you know. But so she yeah. turned that around. She turned it around. So these women, and this is really uh, this is just down exactly what we're talking about. So she 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 put away, uh, took away some of those person working with this, just to remove them, and she started to get up and said, "Okay, now we rewrite everything. So everything is about what these people can." Mm. So when this paper came, you know, it's like turn around. Okay, wh- wh- what is your, you know, profession? Right there? Uh, I don't, uh, I can't do anything and so on. But, but you don't you have like five kids or six kids? Yes. Is it not you doing all the cooking, uh, the laundry, the planning for the schools, putting together, you know, clothing, everything, yeah. organizing? Is not is that isn't that you? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, of course, yeah. You know, we we need these kind of people with the uh, elderly care here. Hmm. The positive so aspect of this. Started, yeah, she started to turn around. So these women, they started to get in, starting this uh, practice kind of thing with this in these elderly homes. And all of a sudden what happened, these people started to turn around and started to blossom as the individuals that they actually are. What happened? They started, you know, getting work. And all of a sudden, their own self-esteem, they told this is concept that, that my husband is beating the sh- living shit out of me. He has uh, three different other wives, and they're doing this welfare uh, fraud and all kind of stuff that came up. Mm. And these women started to, you know, start their own businesses, hiring people. It's just an absolutely fantastic story on, on taking people that society sees as total waste. There's no right, way. Right. 
get them some welfare and just get get out of here. She turned it, and this is persons that knows way more than you think. And this is to me so heartwarming and exactly down on what we need to do with society. It's yeah. that, that, that simple to see persons. Either you see them as a victim or you see them as a as a person a, a, yeah, with that, possibility. That has, with possibilities, exactly. So yeah. it's hard to explain uh, in English. It's, no, I know. My apologies. I wish I spoke your language, but thank you for trying. No, no, it's no. Awesome. It's just, just, it's just that I didn't. And to me, that comes down <clears throat> exactly to these things. So instead yeah. of discussing, you know, like, yeah, you're a racist or blah, 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 oh, fa- bullshit. Instead of talking about the issue, what do we, how do, do we help people to, to take these steps? That's what we should talk about. Yeah. And that we are, we just start on the different levels of this this uh, you know these stairs. Some are starting at the first step. Some have five up. Some have ten. But yep. nevertheless, it's the same amount of steps you know that you can take. And to me, that that's yeah, that comes down to the whole. And maybe, maybe that's the spirit of stuff. This is really interesting. And I actually I have that a bit, of course. If you see the the church on the cover if you yes. see the cover of that yeah, I thought that was I thought that was pretty obvious honestly <laughs> but but the I can understand cross why, and everything yeah, yeah. but I so can understand kind of, why people weren't looking for it you know what I mean no you obviously know. it's pretty well, people ask me I said no I said I, I'm making fun of it because I said but no but this is a new re- religion my friends it's awakening we need to wake up we need to join together it's actually this darkness is actually about love it's about yes. uh, seeing what's actually the evil Right. The evil are really good at uh, hiding uh, as of now, but it's coming out more and more. I would say people are starting to pick it, pick up a little bit that the, this not, doesn't make sense. They're starting yeah. to even even the most uh, brainwashed ones. <laughs> yeah, well, so. I mean, we we need. I mean, look, I extremists are always going to be extremists, and you yeah. can't undo extremism. Oh, it's hard, but, <laughs> but you can, but but you can overcome with it. Excuse me, you can overcome it. If if the the majority, uh, uh, I don't want to say bands together, but actually has the courage to finally sort of step into moderacy. And what I mean by that is mm. instead of trying to be right, instead of trying to align, because that's what – no offense, listeners, but some of you are really weak. <laughs> and, and that weakness – that weakness goes towards the right or the left because it wants to yeah. be led. It's, it's exactly. it goes back to the thing we talked about before, and the strong, the strong need to be in the center, not because the center is wishy washy, because the center isn't wishy washy. The center mm-hmm. says some things about the right are correct, some things about the left are correct, and the only mm-hmm. way we can serve the most people is to be in the middle. And to hold hands, and it sounds really cheesy that I'm saying this, but it's <laughs> it's so important for us to to understand things aren't mutually exclusive. Just because this is seems right to you doesn't mean this is wrong to you. There's exactly. incre- there's exactly. increments. We we don't live in a black and white world. Everybody's heard no. this a million times. It's it's just shades of gray. So mm. knock it the fuck off. Dude, you're 100 percent correct. We need to, that's the thing. And that's, you know, now so hard when you try to talk, and it doesn't matter what side. It, it's yeah, as insane. It doesn't matter what topic. Side. Yeah, and you yeah, know, yeah. people topic. argue about oranges, like like yeah, oh well, yeah. the, the the sumo is not as good as the Mandarin because <laughs> the you know what I mean? It's like, are you freaking kidding me? The Mandarin is that's racist, that's a racist <laughs> fruit. <laughs> <laughs> the sumo that's like yeah. calling it an oriental orange are you freaking <laughs> kidding me <laughs> right oh yeah yeah no it's it's so funny just just the discussion a few uh weeks ago a week ago or something like just about i just made fun of like you know it's a really good thing we're really progressing you know well, what do you mean yeah you know before we had um plastic straws in paper now we have paper straws in plastic correct so we're making progress they're like, well, what do you mean? This is a great step for me. It's like, don't you understand the, the, yeah. the insanity here? You go yeah. to the, the 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 store, and you feel good about yourself because you you bought paper straws, but everything else is wrapped in plastic. Yeah, everything. yeah, like, yeah. And and what about the, that then? <laughs> right, all of the electric cars. You have to mine yeah. 
you have to mine all this stuff to make the electric car. So you're running the earth to su supposedly save the earth. It's, it's, it's ludicrous, but we, but, but there's money in it and there's lobbying and, you know, you yeah. pay a couple of guys, you know, if you, you want to hire a great lobbyist, hire me because I can talk you into it, you know, and, <laughs> that's, and that's good to know. <laughs> right. Right. And, but that's why I do what I do, Jimmy. That's why we're here because I love music. Music is a salve. It is the most ooey gooey, warm blanket of love. If we if we give it its power and, and there's so much material on the web, there's so many fantastic bands and musicians, singer songwriters that are hidden on places like YouTube because they don't have an audience. And so I told myself a few years ago, when I like something, I'm going to talk to the artist. I don't care if they're famous. It's always fun to talk to a celebrity artist, but mm. But the reality is, is, is most of them aren't, and they're seeking, they're seeking an audience. They're seeking to expand, or like in your case, you're seeking a little bit of it all, but mostly to spread your message in your particular way. And mm -hmm. and if people would just slow down, we would recognize gorgeous, lovely, beautiful, perfect things right in front of us that are hidden in things that aren't gorgeous, lovely, and pretty because we're so busy looking at the surface that we won't penetrate to look what's inside. And that's what's so great about your record. Oh, that's, uh, that's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And and see, you're, you're so popular. Everybody's been trying to call you all day. No, it was uh, my... Uh, or. Sixth and my son's uh, grandma, my mom, was for okay. calling. She's well, taking care of him now. So, <laughs> well, I want to ask you one more question. I know this yeah. show today has been all over the map, but 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 my listeners want to hear about oh. you. You know, one second here, I can maybe. Oh, okay. No, one second, maybe we can do it at the same time here. Okay. I have to see. Yeah, one second here. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> All what my listeners are like totally confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave this in. Okay. I come in Hey hey, I come out. Hey hey. I come in. Hey hey. <laughs> you know what you should do, Jimmy, is you should give your uh your your social security number so we know everything about you now. <laughs> yeah, now we know everything. So oh but yes. There you go. There's my son. That's the, that's why I uh, I made four what times do. here. Just the 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 tumble. So, oh, I'm I'm super happy to have a chat with you, man. Oh it's, yeah, it warms my heart that that you really see what I'm trying to do and and the kind of also the the wrap around the kind of the fun thing that like it's kind of a, the reverend coming here telling mm -hmm. everybody this is the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make fun well, of it a little bit. So yeah, I think I mean I think it's really important to have levity, but it's important to understand that something is going on. That we yes. can, we don't get to just turn a blind eye. We don't get to just say that oh that's a, a religious crazy or that's a political asshole or mm -hmm. what whatever that is. We have to be prudent and thoughtful but we have to align with people that are like-minded and like-hearted and the focus is on the heart because your brain overthinks everything but your heart cannot over love there's no such mm. thing it has boundless energy so pick somebody and pick something and love it and everything changes no but you're correct and that's the uh, yeah that is what we need to to spread in where we, that's what, exactly what's needed you know and yeah i really hope that that uh, that you're correct and it's quite it's interesting because you have a couple of friends that said pretty the same thing and they're not like connected in any way so that something is going we need to this is kind of we're down in a dark place but we need that to really have a kick to the next level again mm -hmm.